everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to add to that and make it more wonderful because today what I want to do is teach you how to use a plastic container like this and turn it into a beautiful kitchen canister like this. If you want to learn how to do that, stick with me today. My name is Kara and my channel is Crafty Recycler and if you want to see the uh, list of things needed to create this, they'll be listed below also. But for now, let's begin. So to begin, take the container lid off and I've already started removing this but what you want to do is work your way around the edge and slowly peel it off so that it doesn't stay stuck to the edge and then you're going to save the piece like this that comes off because later we're going to wash that off and line the inside of the cap again to cover the screw head so once you have this off what you want to do is wash the container thoroughly inside and out and you want to try to get the sticker off as much as you can and usually it's a little difficult to peel off so you can get this product called Goo Gone and put that on there let it sit a few minutes and then take the scraper that comes with it and scrape it off so once you have it completely uh, with the label off um, now you can get ready to paint and what I'm going to use is this paint it's a silver paint um, that I got from Michaels and it's called Treasure Gold, even though it's silver. And it's I liked it because it actually matches, if you have a stainless steel refrigerator, it's the same exact stainless steel look. So if you want that look on your canister, um, then that would be the paint that you could go with to get that effect. So I've taken this outside and I've painted it and let it dry. Um, and then what I've done to show the next step, is I've taken and I've this green frog tape you can get you can use masking tape too but I like this because it comes off easier and doesn't take the paint with it when you pull it off um, so what I've done is the areas that I want to show to be white I've taken an outline with the green tape and then just painted it in with the white and what I used was this white paint here from Craftsmart just an acrylic paint I try to use non-toxic stuff as much as I can and so that's what I use. And now we're at the point where we can begin to peel the tape off. Okay, so I removed the uh, tape. So I've also coated the entire thing with Glossy Mod Podge to give it a shine and also protectiveness. Um, and I did two coats, but usually you do like three to five coats. So just as a reminder, um, now that we have the white, this is what it looks like where the white goes here. And then we also have white up here and down here. But for up here, that's what we're going to work on next. And to do that, I have these wooden pieces that I got from Hobby Lobby. They're assorted um, shapes. And I'm going to use the round in here. And what I did was I painted it white to match. Okay, so I've drilled a hole 3 16 inch um, through this top of the lid and also through the center of this. And I'm going to line them up and put the knob through it and then just secure the bolt on the back. Okay so that's that part and now the fun part of decorating my favorite part. But I should mention one more thing. Now these knobs I got from Hobby Lobby and I got them 50% off and they have such a wonderful selection of knobs at that place that I just I was floored. I'm 55. It was the first time I was in a Hobby Lobby in my whole life. And I was like a kid in a candy store and especially in the knob aisle. Uh, so anyway, I hope that if you haven't been there, you'll go there and check out their knobs for one of your projects. If not this one, another one, but they're great. Okay, so to begin, if you notice on here, I have this bling around here. Now you could use several things for that. I ended up using this from Hobby Lobby. It's this beautiful, it's really in the sewing department and it's an iron on. But I just thought it was so pretty the way it sparkled and it was 50% off at the time, so I went for it. So there you have it. Now we're going to move along to the bottom. And to do that, I bought these decal, I don't know what you call them, they're like a vinyl decal from... Hobby Lobby and they have they look like this so I'm going to use the outer part here and save this little part for another thing 
These are self-adhesive, but because of the shape of this container, the um, way this kind of rises above this, you kind of need to go back and add some more adhesive to make it stay. So what you want to do is line it up, center it, and just press it right on there. And since I have the glue dots, I'm trying to press it to stick to those. Okay, so now you have that. And then we're going to put some more bling around the edges here and down here. So to start with the bling around the top here, as you can see, I, I put this, but I also put a line of this washi tape. It's Martha Stewart brand, and they come like this with all these different patterns, which is really cool. But I chose this one for this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line the top of this and then I'm going to put the bling beneath it. Okay, so I've applied the top and the bottom and now the next step is to apply the lettering here. And as you see this one's sugar and I'm going to do flour next. So to do that, I have these stick on letters that I got from Hobby Lobby. And so to put the letters on, just kind of space it and you can measure it and put the letters how you'd like to put them. You can put them on a diagonal, straight up and down, across, however they're going to fit or however you're going to like them. In this case, I did them straight up and down. And so that's what I'm going to do for the word flower here also. So as you can see, I've applied the F and the R. And the nice thing about this type of canister is there's a natural line seam down the center here. So it helps you to line the letters up. And also what I found to be make it a little easier is if you start at the top and the bottom and work your way in to space them so that um, if you have to move them a little bit, it's not as big a deal. It helps you to kind of eyeball where they should go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these letters on here. And the canister is complete and ready to go. So if you'd like to see future upcoming videos, you can hit the subscribe button and also the bell and it will alert you to upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed this video today, if you could hit the like button, I'd appreciate it. And also share it with your friends. And I hope you have a wonderful, amazing day.